Pleased to be joined uh, today by Andrea Quill from uh, Domestic Violence Association of Central Kansas and Brian Anderson of the Ashby House. We're here at the uh, Project uh, Salina kickoff event. And uh, Andrea, uh, tell us a little bit about the food needs at uh, DVAC. Uh, the, the demand is great. We are seeing an increased number of women and children coming to our agency to receive services. And as a result, um, you know, the decline in funding has caused us to um, have to search out alternate funding sources to try to feed everyone. And Project Salina is a great help to the people that we serve. Um, in 2010, we served 1,018 um, victims, and of that, 488 were children, so um, without Project Salina, we would have to turn people away, and we're very fortunate to have Project Salina where now we can feed everyone who comes to our agency. Because not only providing a safe haven and shelter, you also, what, provide three meals a day? Yes, we do. Three meals a day and uh, two snacks as well. So we're really feeding, um, you know, over a thousand women and children. That, that number is surprising if not almost shocking to me but people I don't think realize how great the need is. I know and it's right here in our community people always think it's everywhere else but it's right here in Salina so I'm very fortunate thank you. Uh, Brian Anderson is uh, the director of the Ashby House. Brian for folks who may not be aware what, what is the mission of the Ashby House? Ashby House is a shelter that serves families and individual women uh, we, of course, provide for basic needs like food, shelter, and clothing, but we also have a pretty strong foundation of uh, life skills programs that helps not only take care of their basic needs, but help them when they get back into the community so they can be more self-sufficient. Project Salina is uh, a directed food drive uh, every May that uh, has the goal of providing food for the second half of the year. Um, wh what about Project Salina and your organization? Uh, how much of the, the food that you need over the course of a year is provided by Project Salina? That number is about 40 percent. It's absolutely tremendous. I don't think there are very many communities in Kansas that have that much support in food drives. And the, and the project does so much for us. Uh, of course, it provides provides that, uh, that food element, helping feed hungry people, but we also use it as a teaching tool. Uh, our families that stay at Ashby House, they do the cooking, and so they have an opportunity to take that food from Project Salina and uh, not only feed their family, but learn how to cook good, nutritious meals. Uh, tell us the story about the birthday girl. Oh, that was great. Um, last evening, um, Elizabeth, one of our little girls, uh, had her birthday, and uh, I was kind of walking through the living room, wanted to talk to her a little bit, and I knew it was her birthday, and I said, Elizabeth, this is a special day for you, isn't it? And she said, it's my birthday. I said, how old are you going to be? And she said, five. And I said, well, what are you having for supper tonight? Is it going to be a special meal? And uh, just like a well-rehearsed speech, she said, we're having fried chicken, we're having biscuits and gravy, corn, peaches, and a birthday cake with blue frosting with five candles. And um, she just lit up. Um, after supper, I talked to her a little bit more, and uh, she was kind of lounging in the recliner, kind of with her head on one arm and her legs hanging over the other, and I said, did you have a good birthday? And she said, it was the best. What a, what a wonderful, heartwarming story for a, a child who's obviously in a crisis situation or, or wouldn't be at your facility. That's right. And uh, to think about the fact that we can feed those families, feed those children, and uh, provide a safe, secure place for them to be uh, while their parents work through those homeless issues. From the Project Salina kickoff event and for KSAL News, I'm Clark Sanders.